Hi everyone, I'm Jenny, this is Joe, and this is Ross, we're the directors of Drumworks. Drumworks is a music project based in East London that aims to tackle some of the social problems we see facing young people today. For the past seven years, Drumworks has been based at the Barbican and Guildhall School. It's been part of the um, Creative Learnings Programme of Activity, and during that time, the project's gone from strength to strength. It's reached a point now where it's bigger than the programme here can actually accommodate, and the demand for our work far exceeds what we're able to deliver whilst we're still within the Barbican and Guildhall. We are therefore setting up as an independent organisation. Um, we're going to be uh, growing, reaching more people in East London, diversifying our sources of funding, enabling us to achieve more. Um, and we're going to tell you today a little bit about what we do and why, our plans for the future, and how becoming an independent company will help us to get there. Drumworks is primarily delivered in schools. <laughs> Students get weekly sessions with professional musicians where they write and create their own material. Um, we then give them performance opportunities within the school and also outside of it. Through the long-term sustained relationships we have with, have with the participants, the tutors can clearly see if there are opportunities both in and outside the Drumworks programme for the students to progress to. Um, we have clear progression routes through the projects, such as to our uh, professional standard ensemble, Drumhead, so you'll hear in a bit. And we also have employment opportunities through our paid assistance programme. So the primary aim of Drumworks is to bring about social change. And we do this by tackling some of the key issues facing young people in East London. Engagement in society, um, sense of community and aspiration are all key to our project. Many of the young people we work with feel as if they're not in control of their own lives. They feel um, that there is no progression through education to employment and that they are part of a society that does not listen to their views. With all of that in mind, it's easy to see why people feel there's no point in trying. It's easier to disengage. Drumworks fast-paced, high-energy delivery system means that we can take a group of people who have no previous musical experience and within five minutes have made something that sounds good and that everyone is proud of. That's the gateway moment where the hooks are in and we can drag people into the wider life of the project. Six months down the line, they'll have performed to a group of their peers within the school and at the end of a the year, they'll have been part of a band of 80 plus musicians performing music that they wrote uh, to audiences of thousands. All of this shows that by engaging positively in the world around you, you can achieve great things. Two thirds of children from state schools in London are from ethnic minority backgrounds, and 60% of young people in Tower Hamlets and Newham, which are two of the boroughs that we deliver drum works in, speak a language other than English at home. Having all of these uh, diff people from different cultural, religious, and socio-economic backgrounds in, an, in a single area can be a source of tension in communities and can divide communities. Drumworks regularly brings people together from all of these different backgrounds to meet on an equal footing and work together, building communities of the future. 33% of young people in Tower Hamlets are from out-of-work families. The other boroughs that we work in have similar statistics. And in comparison to a national average of about 17%, it's quite easy to see how people are, are disengaged and don't have a great deal of aspirations. Through our creative and our rehearsal process, the participants can clearly see the route and the hard work that goes into producing professional standard performances. Drumworks is different to other drumming projects. It runs more like the kind of Elsa Stemma model. We engage with participants on a long-term basis. They can stay with the project all the way through their secondary school career and beyond. We work really closely with the schools to embed the project into the life of the school. It's not just an added on activity. Um, it's also being part of John Works as being part of a bigger community. It's not just a club, it's not just a standalone thing, it's part of a bigger whole. The difference with Elsa Stemmer is that we create our own material based on music that the participants are listening to as a starting point. We don't purely teach Western classical music. The resulting body of work has a sound that's very distinctive to our local community, almost like a new drum, uh, folk tradition for East London.
So, over the next two years, Drumworks will reach thousands of people. We will set up projects, satellite projects, nationally and internationally. We will become financially stable, and we will remain open, responsive and personal to all the members of our project. The future is bright for Drumworks, and we hope that at least some of you can be a part of our family too. Thank you very much. So I'll tell you a little bit about ourselves, uh, Salida Productions. Uh, I trained as an actor at the Guildhall and I left in 1999. And uh, I suppose my career was going on a real trajectory. I was being, getting seen for all sorts of very big jobs. And then I was about 23, 24 and I lost my hair. And it may be funny, at the time it wasn't, but my career basically flatlined and it went to pretty much nothing. Uh, and at that point, I sort of uh, entered a moment of grief, I presume, and, uh, and I decided that that was never going to happen again, and I was going to take control of what was my life and uh, my creativity, and so uh, I went away to Argentina. I got given a, uh, a Fox Foundation grant, and I lived in Argentina and danced tango there at the time of my life, and I came back with the, with the vision to form Salida Productions, which means exit. And from there, our first project was Romeo and Juliet with the Tango Orchestra from Buenos Aires, Astigero. And that premiered at the Mercury Theatre in 2010 and was one of the most successful shows they've ever had financially and critically. Uh, and instead of us <coughs> me telling you what we've been doing for the last uh, three and a half years, if we could just play the video. Mm -hmm. Mr. George Fumby. So that's a little bit of what we've done. Um, what we're doing now is uh, quite excitingly is we're uh, moving into feature films uh, and this is uh, what we're talking about today is a feature film called Grief by uh, a writer called David Cantunas who was nominated this year for the Best New Playwright at the Bruntwood Awards. Uh, it's an amazing story. It's about a, a guy named uh, Pete who's 30, he works in advertising and he's on the tube and he picks up a newspaper and sees a picture of a model who's hanged herself and it's actually based on a true story and this woman who supposedly has the perfect life this throws him into a moment of turmoil when he realizes the life that he's been living isn't the one that he wanted i'd like to say this is uh we're very passionate about this story but we see this as a commercial venture we're going to pull in the best actions that we possibly can i mean what's great is that we i work in the industry i know these people and we can make calls uh, and, and try and pull in the, you know, the biggest amount of people who will put bums on seats as we possibly can. Uh, we're also interested in just creating partnerships with people who want to come on a journey with us as a company, uh, not just for this project. Um, uh, so thank you very much for listening to us.
up Song in the City in 2011 and he performs regularly as a pianist. Um, he does a great deal of administration work as well as coaching the singers for the performances. We have seven trustees um, and a couple of private sponsors. We have two high profile patrons, mezzo soprano Sarah Walker, CBE, and pianist, broadcaster, and playwright Ian Burnside. We believe in the power of song to change the world and indeed people's lives. We have over 100 student performers taking part each year, many of whom come from the Guildhall School of Music as well as other London music colleges. They receive free coaching as well as being given the performance opportunities. We also take song into the community as a means of helping others beyond the City of London. This is a favourite quote of ours. Music is therapy. Music moves people. It connects people in a way no other medium can. It pulls heartstrings. It acts as medicine. Just as our work in the city acts as a medicine relieving the stress of everyday life to the city workers, we're exploring ways that our work can act as a literal medicine to mental health service patients. In 2013, in the summer, we received um, funding from the Maudsley Charitable Trust, um, a mental health service charity, um, for our proposed project, Creative Madness in Song. In this project, young composers will be um, collaborating with poets who have experience of mental illness um, for a final performance to take place um, by the singers and pianists from the Guildhall School. I would like to tell you about another of our poets, Emma Maddox, at the piano here. Gavin met Emma at the Royal College of Psychiatrists at an exhibition for artists with experience of mental illness. Emma has been using um, writing poetry as a means of combating her condition for many years now. And as you will see from the next video, she already has her own ideas as to how she would like her text to sound when set to music. Here are a couple of comments from the service users after our meetings and workshops. Jane Keane, a singer on the project, said, I felt rather inspired after the last session and wrote the attached poem. I haven't written anything for years. I know I didn't come in as a writer, but I thought I would send it to you anyway. Gary Coyle, the leader of the Lewisham Volunteer Centre Writing Group, uh, said, it was most interesting. I'm excited about hearing the music that James is going to put to the written pieces. So, what are our plans for the future? We already are extremely grateful to the Guildhall School for their support in terms of rehearsal space and facilities. We'd like to expand this bond um, by the means of social projects training for the um, me, uh, mu music therapy students and leadership students, perhaps administrational training, program building, which is already in place for the masters pianists, as we believe this would allow us to gain greater credibility in our fundraising ventures. We've pr provided you with a budget summary on our handout of what we need as a minimum to take us over the next three years. We've also suggested some smaller ways that you could support us. Three very different projects, um, very interesting and all very impressive in the different ways in that you're trying to achieve things. We felt we, we read again that the award is to the organisation who, who we believe will be the most effective in achieving its goals and a list of qualities down there. Actually, we think you'll all achieve your goals, but in different ways. We think that the film is uh, well on the road to uh, um, creating its special purpose vehicle and raising its commercial finance with the team you're putting together, not quite put together, but as names slot in, yeah. other names will slot in and money will follow, mm -hmm. helped by the SEIS scheme, which means you get about 50% tax relief mm -hmm. on it in total, yeah. which makes it a very attractive uh, uh, prospect, especially with the uh, opportunity to stay with the organization into future projects, not just a, a, a one-off. Yeah. Um, although you haven't spelt out quite how you're going to work that, but that's 
not terribly difficult either. Um, we, um, and perhaps for that reason, that we feel you're going to get there with or without the, this award and this thousand pounds, we are not making the award to the, to, to Salida Productions, sorry. But we admire what you're doing and we're impressed by it. Um, and of course, you, you were the commercial enterprise, mm -hmm. whereas the other two are, am I using the words right, social enterprises, mm -hmm. um, not looking to make a profit, hoping to make a living, I would say, um, or more of a living out of it. And we felt that um, um, both have a lot to offer. We think that Song in the City is rather less far down the road of working out how you're going to get to where you hope to be in two or three years' time. As you said, it, it might be 10 years away. And we would like to encourage you to work out how to um, collapse that time scale so that you try to get there in three years rather than 10 uh, and to think that one of the ways would be that city companies, city livery companies, other prospective sponsors, um, it's, I won't say it's as easy to ask them for 30 or 40 as it is for three or four, but there's an element of truth in that, as mm -hmm. I think anyone who's working in the city will, will a agree. Um, the, the challenge is to get them um, signed on to your passion and your vision, and then the money is not the big issue, it's mm. the commitment and the interest. Um, so we admire very much what you, what you are doing. We hope you'll be continuingly successful, but um, it's like those, you know, five, four, three, two, one. The award we are going to give to Drumworks. And We think that you are giving so much through what you are doing to the community you are working with. You are changing the lives of large numbers of people. Um, you want to change the lives of larger numbers of people. And we hope, I hope, you will spread out beyond these extremely difficult and suffering central London boroughs. And whether it's by informally franchising your idea, which you may make nothing out of, to places where you can't work, um, as you're doing in outside this country. There are other places in this country that can benefit too. And um, we admire your work, and we hope that receiving this award will help you to grow and develop. So congratulations to all three, and uh, the award which I hope Paul is here to present, because it's his award. <laughs> Stephen? It's the award, yes. This is, we've had a, a, a bowl made with the, with the engraving. Um, the Marty Guildhall Creative Entrepreneurs Award 2014, and I'm delighted to present it to Bromwell. Just to conclude, I, I want to say a huge thank you to all three groups who took part. This, this was the, the first year of this course. It's been the first <coughs> award that we've ever done as a company. Uh, we're really pleased that you put so much into it and that you shared with us what, you, what your ambitions and your goals are so clearly. So thank you. And we, we really do wish you all very, very well. And I would like to thank the panel who've given their time uh, very generously and uh, particularly our, our two external uh, members of the panel, thank you both very much for, for, for coming.